Welcome to the hot seat where we discuss the most recent sports news. We are your hosts, John and Peter. Our first question today, how much longer will Tom Brady play? Uh, I say he's got a good three years left in him. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to trading him either because, like, who wouldn't want Tom Brady, especially no matter how old he is, you know, you could trade him and get some good stuff, but then definitely retire him as a Patriot. I agree with John on this one. Um, I say he has three years left, good years left, like not bad years, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> but they should probably trade him when he's like older, just to get a little value for him before he like falls off a cliff. Our next question is, who has the best shot to beat the Warriors? Yeah. All right, so... um. I think the Cleveland Cavaliers have the best shot to beat the Warriors because they have the best player in the world, LeBron James, with Kyrie, who is, like, a good player, with Kevin Love. And I just don't think any other team really, like, the Spurs maybe, but they're older, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I see the Warriors getting to the finals. But I think the Cavaliers can definitely beat them since they're, like, yet to lose yet. They're 8-0 in the playoffs. The Celtics have, like, a little chance I think they could beat the Warriors, but I think they need another superstar before they can do it. Our next question is, did the Bears make the right choice to move up one pick and draft Mitch Trubisky? I don't think they made the right decision to move up one pick because I didn't think the San Francisco 49ers would have drafted Mitch Trubisky anyway. And they gave up a couple draft picks for that, so I wouldn't have moved up one pick. Yeah, I agree. I don't think the Bears should have moved up a pick. The 49ers were definitely not going to take Trubisky, and it wasn't worth trading away their other picks in the rounds to go. And honestly, Trubisky isn't anything like special. I think if they're going to get a quarterback, they should have took like Deshaun Watson or someone. Next, we have the question... Who has the best shot to beat the Cavs in the Eastern Conference? And I think the Boston Celtics have the best shot to beat the Cavs because they have Isaiah Thomas and, like, Jay Crowder, Avery Bradley, all them. And I don't think the Washington Wizards will make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. I agree. The Celtics definitely have the best shot to beat them. Isaiah Thomas is going off right now and I think the surrounding pieces with Avery Bradley and Al Horford are definitely enough to beat the Cavs especially after last night in game five when Avery Bradley dropped 29 and led the team there so our next question is which team won the draft I definitely think the Cleveland Browns won the draft with Miles Garrett Jabril Peppers and Deshaun Kaiser as a new QB they can bring in who's definitely athletic enough that they can make into a potential star. I don't know about that, but at least a good QB that hopefully won't fall off the map like all the other QBs that play for the Browns. And, I mean, I don't know. Kaiser compares himself to Brady, which definitely not true. Brady way above him. And he compares himself to Cam Newton, which, congrats, Cam Newton's terrible. Whatever. I think the Dallas Cowboys won this year's draft because they needed good defensive players. Then they followed up that with two cornerbacks at number 60 and number 92. Yeah, this was good because they needed help in their secondary, and this should really help their defense. That's going to conclude the show for today. See you next time on Hot Seat.